Hi, this is Freddy. And this is Marky. And we are here to help you get the best games at the lowest possible price. And with that being said, let's get started. Now, when I talk about Bethesda, I know the first thing that comes to mind is Skyrim. Heck, it's getting released again. And while it's easy to make fun of those, it's always fun, dude. I got a game that I think a lot of people might have fallen off of, but it's actually just as fun to jump back into again. And it's from the Fallout series, and we're not talking about 76. I'm talking about Fallout 4, specifically the Game of the Year edition that has five, or rather six, if you want to include the smaller ones, DLC add-ons included for the low price of $9.99 as opposed to its full price of about $40. Fallout 4 did things a little bit differently than the other Fallout games in that it was giving the main character a voice and some dialogue options, and they would react accordingly to those choices. So uh, some people weren't too keen on that, but the game itself is still fantastic with the amount of exploration, the amount of different sides and options that you can take, side quests aplenty, and then with like any true open world Bethesda game, lots of bugs to find, but it's a good kind, trust me. Not if it's their bugs though, not features. Um, you get to find all kinds of crazy weapons. There's so many small little details that you can dive into that really absorb you into the world. And it's one of the best games out there. Now, I know a lot of people didn't take to Fallout 76 too well, especially in its launch state. But if you're looking for that traditional single player open world experience, stuff that Skyrim has given you, you can always jump back into Fallout 4 or try it for the first time if you haven't already. And it's a great time too, because this is one of the lowest prices that we've seen for it so far. The next game we have is also on PlayStation Store, and this time I chose Ravel 2 for $4.99. If you play a lot of AAA titles, then you might have an urge to play simple and short games and Unravel 2 fits perfectly in this category. This game is much better than the first one, since it has more creative idea and less repeti repetitions overall, but the main difference this time comes from the fact that you have two characters linked together, so you have the option to play it by yourself with a CPU or even better with someone as a local co-op. Another improvement I like from the first Unravel is that the checkpoints are very frequent. So if you lose, you will repeat the mission from where you died. And playing the game might take about 4 hours to finish, so you'll beat it before even your excitement diminishes. Playing Unravel 2 with a friend will definitely make your experience better. From exploring a new mission for the first time or solving puzzles together and playing as a team to beat a boss, all these factors can definitely create the fun memorable moments. And that's why I recommend this game, especially at this price. If you've been enjoying this video, don't forget to click the like button. Also, maybe click subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications while you're at it so you can stay in touch with all of our YouTube stories. And of course, we are starting up Twitter again. So if you want to jump in on some more deals as quick as possible, we got you covered there. Subscribing will also help our channel grow with your support. Our goal is to build a community of gamers who are like us, have a passion for games, but don't want to break up the bank. All right, enough talking and let's get back to the deals. Now, indie games are bigger and better than ever before, but I want to shine a little spotlight to one of the few that kind of, uh, I want to say kickstarted. Of course, indies have always been around, but one that kind of really kickstarted the indie scene to kind of where it is now, and that is, of course, Castle Crashers. For a lot of you OG Summer of Arcade types, you already know what I'm talking about. This one's actually an HD upscaling to the modern systems. Normally 20, 25 bucks. You can actually get it now for just $8.99 on the PlayStation Store. Castle Crashers, of course, is a four player beat em up in likings to all the older 16 bit, uh, but it's also built around a silly sense of comedy. It's got a nice uh, slapstick. Some of it's a little brash, but you know, you know, it's, it's comedy for comedy's sake and it's all in good fun. You can play with up to four players, and there's so many characters and weapons to explore, various puzzles to solve, nothing too intense, just perfectly accessible for anybody to jump into. And of course, a leveling up system so that you can always tweak your character however you like it. You can grind them all the way up to 99. And on top of that, there's so many mini games that you could find too. There's like a little board game, there's an arena fighter, there's even like a card game running around too. It's really interesting. Seeing the behemoth, which is a developer, grow into such a big developer for these types of games in order to make others that still kind of always pay uh, homage to the indie scene. It's a game that even today, a lot of people could still enjoy and have fun with. So if you got some people with you, some friends, you can play by yourself, of course. But I would say it's more better enjoyed with at least another person. 
if you haven't already tried this and kind of gotten a little bit of a, some context into the history of indie games, this is a great choice and especially at a low price. The next game we have is also on PlayStation Store is A Black Tail for $11.99, dropping all the way from its regular price of $30. The game is about a girl called Amicia who tried to protect her little brother who has been isolated all his life too, due to a mysterious illness. But upon the arrival of the deadly rats during the horrors of the Hundred Years War and the Black Death, Amicia found no choice but to escape with her brother. The story would capture your attention immediately within the first few minutes and would intrigue your interest as you want to know what happened. The world is full of details that fits well with the dark and sad world that Amicia and her brother lived in. The gameplay will depend mostly on stealth as you try to sneak away from the enemies, but you do have the option to gather some resources to be able to attack directly. The gameplay can be a little bit repetitive, especially that you can trick the enemies very easily by throwing something in the other direction. But the, the depth of the characters in this game and the music combined with the intriguing story make up for it, and the game is only about 8 hours to beat. The game was free on PlayStation Plus owners uh, maybe 2 months ago, so check your library before you purchase it, but I would also recommend if you have not gotten the game for free, it's a good game to get it at this discount. We still got a few honorable mentions for you if you're looking to grab some other games on sale. Uh, the first one we have is Star Wars Battlefront 2, a now fantastic uh, team-based shooter in the Star Wars universe, all the way down to just $5.99. And heck, on top of that, we also have another fighter title, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I think it's fantastic. It does not look very great visually, but the gameplay is completely fantastic. $9.99, a whole 75% off. Then lastly, we've got the first in the remake trilogy for Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, the definitive edition, all the way down to just $3, $2.99. If you haven't tried the trilogy yet, it's a perfect time to do it. It's just three bucks. Less of it is spent on a number one combo over at McDonald's. So I'd recommend jumping that, getting a whole new experience rather than a quick meal. This week, we didn't find a good deals at Best Buy, Target, or even GameStop, but we are sticking to PlayStation Store. The first deal that I'm going to mention, if you're new to uh, PlayStation Plus or uh, you're considering it, PlayStation Store has it for 50% off. It's only $30, dropping from its regular price of $60. I would highly, highly recommend this membership. The membership will pay itself because every month they will give you three games for free. Two of them will be PS4, one of them may be between PS4 or PS5, and the quality of these games has been improved a lot over the last two years, so you'll get games that are worth $15 or $20 sometimes. And on top of that, it will allow you to, to play games online with your friends. So I really think it's totally worth it, so I would like to mention that. The other thing is, you can still combine any purchase you make on PlayStation Store with the 15% discount that is available on Cash App. How to do that, how to activate that boost, I'll describe that in the description below. Following up with Freddy, we wanted to let you know of what the three games this month were for August. And for both PlayStation 5 and 4 owners, they get Hunter's Arena Legends. And then for PlayStation 4 people, but they can also play them on a 5, of course, there's Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, as well as Tennis World Tour 2. So if you haven't checked out any of those games, it's a good opportunity to get them for free while getting all the other benefits that PlayStation Plus provides. The other announcement that we have, we are still following up on the 100 subscriber giveaway. Whenever we reach that number, we're going to give a $10 PlayStation Store for to somebody who's been very active with us. Comment on our videos, give us a like, follow us on Twitter, maybe say something on the stories. Somebody who has been with us in our journey from the beginning will try to give back to you guys. So yeah, stay engaged, tell your friends, and let's grow our community. We hope you enjoyed the video for this week. Quick question before we let you go. Um, do you guys like our current format? We've been talking a lot about a few games. We're going into heavy details. Do you want us maybe to cover a lot more games on sale, but with less details? We're going to throw a poll up both on Twitter and YouTube. So feel free to check it out and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching and make sure to check us next week for more deals. See you next week.